The update 1.14 Common Test is about to start. It contains many new features that will bring diversity and create new goals for players. They are a new map, a new mode, a new vehicle branch, a new mechanic and player's impressions of the tweaked vehicles. But first things first. The map with the working title Japanese Port has been in development for quite some time. It has been carefully refined and has undergone many closed tests. Now it's time for its debut on the common test under a new name, Safe Haven. If you look at the map from a player's perspective, you can divide it into several parts. The green area is where most vegetation is located. There are hills and a bridge connecting the east and west of the map. These combat areas will perfectly suit skirmishes between quick and maneuverable vehicles, which use terrain foals as cover. The port part of the map includes a bay, repair keys, trading piers, docked ships, and many cargo containers that create cover for positional firing. Also, there's a hangar for maneuverable heavy tanks with a sturdy turret through which they can perform flank attacks and which is protected from artillery fire. In addition to these clearly noticeable areas, there's something that is hidden but carries significant strategical importance, a network of tunnels under the port. This network connects all parts of the maps and is an excellent cover from artillery. The main purpose of this location is to provide the means to get behind enemy lines. That's why battles for the tunnel are unavoidable. Safe Haven is a map that will let players experiment with new tactics, as well as use the familiar ones. The new branch of Czechoslovakian heavy tanks includes four researchable vehicles. It branches off the Tier 6 medium tank, and the first vehicle is the VZ-44-1. It has pretty good dynamics with decent armor for its tier. Its gun is reminiscent of that of a medium tank, but with good damage per shot. Tier 8 is occupied by the TNH-105-1000. The vehicle is better armored, mainly due to the screens on its turret. It's also the vehicle with the main feature of Czechoslovakian heavy tanks, the choice of two great guns. Depending on your play style, you can select either a two-shell autoloader or a cyclic gun. The Tier 9 TNHT VZ-51, in addition to this feature, also has stronger armor and has more comfortable gun handling. The crown of the Czechoslovakian branch at Tier 10 is the VZ-55. Visually, it's similar to its predecessor, with elements of Soviet tank building. But logically, it has better characteristics. The armor of the turret has been bolstered with screens. In terms of agility, the VZ-55 is outmatched by fast heavy tanks, such as the Object 277 or the IS-7. However, it has two 130mm guns to choose from. This brings it the individuality that will be the envy of many heavy tanks. A vehicle with two effective playstyles gives choice to the player. Not sure where to go to be useful to your team? We have a solution for you, a new topography training mode. This is a single player mode that will help newcomers navigate the maps and study the initial routes and key positions. Battles in this mode take place as scenarios. Players will have a choice of several maps of various difficulties with four scenarios for each map. After you finish them all, the map will be considered complete. Since it's a training mode, you won't lose credits for unsuccessful scenario attempts, and battles won't count towards your statistics. However, there are rewards awaiting you for the successful completion of training.
we continue setting the characteristics of premium vehicles to update them for the current realities of random battles. The American Mastodon, the T-34, now has more comfortable gun handling and better maneuverability. This will make positional skirmishes easier for it and won't let it be easy prey for quick vehicles. The AMX CDC will cause damage from distance more confidently due to improved aiming time and gun stabilization, while the increased reverse speed will let it avoid unnecessary damage when firing from behind cover. The next four medium tanks, despite being of different nations, have an American background. They also have something in common in terms of gameplay, which is why they got adjustments of a similar nature. More comfortable gun handling and in some cases increased firepower. Finally, the following seven vehicles with preferential matchmaking have a common armor penetration value with standard shells, 186 mm. So it was logically changed for all of them. Currently, this parameter has been increased by 10 mm, which makes firing at enemy weak spots a bit easier. Although, you still need to aim properly there. The Ruinberg map underwent small tactical changes. The balcony in the center of the map was reworked to reduce the dominance of vehicles there over the green area when playing from the top base. At the same time, its strategic purpose remains, spotting enemy vehicles for the Allies in the town. Also, the awaited changes to the conditions of personal missions for artillery will be added to the second iteration of the common test. Changes were made to the more difficult missions that significantly influence the general progress of personal missions. For example, the missions from the second part of the first campaign. The main criteria for changes were the artillery parameters that were adjusted in Update 1.13, damage and amount of stun. However, since SPGs can still effectively cause damage and stun, these changes are not drastic. We will continue to gather statistics and analyze the situation on the battlefield. And for now, try out the other new features of the upcoming update. For example, a new frontline season that will start very soon. It will differ from previous ones with a new balance and new reserves. Watch a separate video on our channel to learn more details about this popular mode. Take part in testing and share your feedback. Thanks for helping us make the game even better. Good luck on the battlefield.